Another day in Tiburon here. Um, it's been raining really bad, so I haven't got around to this. Uh, this carpet was nasty. I've been tearing it out. There's a lot I got to show you on this, so I'm going to probably make, probably going to show you a little bit today and then show you more tomorrow. But this is it right here. It's straight. There's no dents in it. Um, or anything that I see that's going on here is you guys can notice the damn door is not shutting right. You push right in on it, it's all right. It keeps coming out. I'm not sure what's causing that. I don't know if it's up top or if it's in the latch. I put some WD on it. Uh, not sure if that's the problem or what. If any of these latches here are maybe even stretched, but nothing's like out of the ordinary, nothing looks bent. Um, I was thinking maybe this, but they might need to adjust it this way maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of weird. If you guys get any ideas on how to fix that, let me know. I'm not new old body guy, that's for damn sure, but yeah, this is this nasty looking thing nasty as shit guys um so i got a carpet that came out of my car so i'm probably gonna i'm gonna probably put carpet back into this but something i did not know Ooh. hold on so you guys can see it's really decent shape it just needs cleaned up here's the only little dent on it not sure Great little teeny dent there. I think we can pop that out. And this is the only rust that's on it. So I gotta cut the, sand this out and cut this out. But same thing's wrong with my turbo carb on the other side. But basically, guys, this is gonna be our. Hold on, let's throw this crap up in here. I hate stereo shit. Look, extra and good copper, but this side shuts good, as you can see. Last time I seen this car, it still had a good clear coat on it, but the clear coat is starting to, well, you can see it there, chipping off, chipping a little bit right through here and a little bit through here on this side. But again, it's straight, so that's a plus, you know what I mean? So let's see, it's starting to rain. I might not be getting nothing done. Well, one thing I noticed, man, it's starting to rain. Sprinkle rain, damn it. I'm gonna have to continue this again. Is this floor was wet. Now, this floor being wet like this makes me wonder how much rust is in it. So far we found this, which, that's not bad at all. I could sand that out, that out. Like nothing. This right here looks like it's just uh, a little bit there on the where the glue was. I know this is all glue here because this looks like that in my car. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. The way I get like this old glue up, if you can, is you just come in here like see where these holes are. See that, see that shit, guys? It just kind of. See that? Pops right up. That's all I'm doing right here. Going through this old glue and going like that. I'm blowing about 130 PSI through it. Dry ice is another way to do it. <clears throat> but dry ice will probably have to be used back here. But this all looks good back here. So you guys can see. Through here looks all good. Got a little bit of rust here, <clears throat> a little bit of rust over there. But I'll probably take all this kind of stuff out of it. Like this up through here. Uh, cause basically what this car will be, guys, will be the, the daily summer Tiburon soon because we're going to be taking the turbo car to the next level, hopefully next year. Built motor, built tranny, cage the car. That's the goals for next year. I was going to buy a built, Built transmission this year. 
Here in a month or so, I'll probably show you guys why I didn't. I just noticed the old owner must have been in here and never put the bolts back in the owner I got it from which is gonna suck because I bet you the gas tanks all rusted inside now ah, some people just don't need to work on shit that's what happened to this engine too but I did find some of the screws in here to that which we're laying right here but that's not all of them which sucks Hopefully my parts car will have some, but I gotta get a 10 millimeter in here and pull this return line off and see how bad it's rusted. I bet it's rusted up. Man, when you think you're gonna get a half decent deal, you get screwed all the time. That's what it seems like. Well, unfortunately, the seat was still popped up in this car and I looked underneath and I seen some screws that were to this. And they were just sitting over there and this was completely loose, not tightened down. This was tightened down on it for some dumb reason, but no screws put in it. Uh, don't make much sense. Definitely, you know, if you're working on the car, you uh, <laughs> got to have more common sense than that. But some people don't. And see what happened? Literally rusted the tank out. It's pretty decent right there. But here's where it's mostly at. So... Not sure if we'll be able to use this tank, guys. I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% positive we'll be able to use it. But, you know, that's a lot of rust right there. I could possibly get in there and clean a lot of that and flush it. I can't remember if these have a drain on it, to be honest with you. I really don't remember. I would have to jack this damn thing up. Probably gonna be able to tell if there's anything. Hmm. Is that a drain? Uh, where is it at? Right there. Well, I don't think that is. Sure, how hard the tank don't look too bad to do. I might be better off to go ahead and do it. I mean, I don't know. We might be able to get that tank out of here not too awful bad. I'm not sure all what stays on that thing and how it stays on. When you take it down, you know, it might give me enough room to mess with it. I can't rem you know, I never did one, so... Might just go ahead and do one. Um, I might go ahead and pull this crap out then. I don't know if I'll do it right now or not, but I like to go ahead and start doing that kind of shit. Get it out of here. Get a lot of this metal out of here and get it uh, dried up. I need to start, take this, like I showed you guys before. You can see what other water. It's popping it up. These are the little drain plugs. So I could take these out and I could reseal it after I get, you know, I could just set them in there for right now. And then I can reseal it after I get this damn windshield right. Uh, hopefully get it right here soon. I'm going to mess with this just a little bit more. I think I'm going to make this a little video, guys, and we'll get back to it. And then I'm going to show you guys the mess we got going on up here. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys that. Yeah, that'll be the next thing. But, yeah, this is the nasty-ass carpet, guys. Nasty. Unnasty thing. I think it was wet. Clear up to the... Nah, not too bad up this way, but through here was wet. Uh, the back wasn't wet on either one. So that wasn't a problem. This looks like we can clear this, clean this all up. I mean... There's other cars out there that have this exposed to the weathers, like Cletus, 
his Leroy. That car is like that. So, you know what I mean? We clean this up and paint it up in here and we'll call it a day, guys. I think it'll be fun. I'm just wanting something to beat on, you know what I mean? Have some fun. Uh, we won't have LSD in this car, but we'll, we'll street race this fucker. And, uh, we'll give them two different tips maybe this year to go at. Um, I'll give you guys more of a detailed plan of what we want to do this year with it. If we can't, we can't, but we'll definitely get it running. We got the parts to get it running. And, uh, at least get it on the road, but we got some goodies for it. We can go a couple different directions. And basically, anything I really need for this is two things. So let me guys let me know what you guys think about the new car. It's a little rough around the edges. We'll get it cleaned up, we'll get it looking better, and we'll definitely have ourselves a decent car here, I believe. Um if you guys can see. Oops. And like I said, as you guys can see, overall, you know, it's not bad. It's not a bad car. We got to find one of these to rust it. Anybody got one want to send it to me for free? <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's clean down through here. We gotta figure out that latch, why it won't latch in. Anybody got an idea with that? Let me know as well. Um, fairly looks, I think it'll be pretty good, guys. Hopefully we'll have two of them out this year. Um, I'm hopeful to have another project, <laughs> which is kinda weird to have any more, cause we got this, 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 yeah, you know I mean, that's kind of our projects right now. And then uh, we still got to get to this, this and this, you know, get the H in there probably for this. Uh, HL motor probably. It's an H22A, so that's a good build as well. Um, yeah, we'll uh, talk another time, guys. Hit the thumb.